There have been many conspiracy theories concerning time, however the most fascinating is the phantom time hypothesis. This theory proposes that the Middle Ages did not actually exist, rather it was pieced together with artifacts and events from neighboring time periods. This theory was first proposed in 1986 by a man named Herbert Illing of whom pondered the idea of the Middle Ages. Illing studied multiple different theories that could have supported his own. He studied everything from history to sciences to arts. He concluded that there were three different explanations for his theory. This included anachronistic architecture, inaccurate dendrochronology, and inaccurate dating on the Julian calendar. Ehrling believed that the buildings of the Middle Ages were anachronistic because they weren't stylistically the same. The most displaced was the Chapel of Aachen. Most architectural landmarks of the Middle Ages contain angular features. Nonetheless, the Chapel of Aachen was mostly styled with arches and domes. Illing observed that the arch styles within the building did not match the other architectural styles of the time period. Of course, within history, there have been multiple examples of arches similar to those of the Chapel of Aachen. Most, however, were not built until 200 years after the Middle Ages. With all these observations gathered, Illing came to a conclusion. This, Illing established that the phantom time hypothesis was correct due to anachronistic architecture. The third explanation for his theory was incorrect dendrochronology. What exactly is dendrochronology? It's a method of determining the age of trees based on their anatomy, most commonly the tree rings. Tree rings can give an accurate approximation of the age of trees. The more rings a tree has on its stump, the older it is. Dendrochronology wasn't introduced until the 20th century by a man named A.E. Douglas. This method of dating trees relied solely on the oldest tree known, which was produced 5,000 years prior. Illy noticed that if the age of that tree was incorrect, the age of all trees following would be thrown off. He then learned of a man named Ernst Hallstein, a dendrochronologist of whom specifically studied the trees of the medieval times. Hallstein used a method known as oak chronology, in which he specifically observed the tree stumps of oak trees. However, he could not find any oak trees to fill in the gaps of the Middle Ages. He then decided to improvise by using copper beech wood trees to complete his findings. He later learned that his findings had been incorrect, however, once he announced his observations, he learned that his old findings had already been published and unable to be replaced. Illing was shocked to have learned of this. This was solid proof that his hypothesis was correct. Illing's hypothesis had been proved to be true once again with the help of incorrect dendrochronology. The last piece of evidence that supported Illing's claims was incorrect dating on the Julian calendar. Today, we live in accordance to the Gregorian calendar. The Julian calendar was founded in 45 BC by Julius Caesar, whereas the Gregorian calendar was founded in 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII. Julius Caesar believed that the calendar should respectively follow the Catholic Church. Pope Gregory, however, believed that the calendar should follow astronomical patterns. Pope Gregory mathematically found the errors among the Julian calendar. He concluded that the calendar was incorrect by 10 days, however, the correct number of days should have been 13, if the Middle Ages actually did exist. With so much proof, Herbert Erling published the Phantom Time Hypothesis in 1991. Most of you may be wondering how this concerns you. This would mean that we are currently living in the 1700s. 
what do you think about the phantom time hypothesis